Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And in today's video, we are going to be starting off a beginner series. So this is something that I have been wanting to do for a little while now, but I am just going to be breaking down the entire process. Um, not really from start to finish, but just most important things that I think are very important to know when you're starting out with making candles. And today's video is going to be all about picking your jars. So picking the containers that you're going to be using to make your candles. So when it comes to finding containers, you first, the very first thing that you want to do is wherever you live, go onto Google and try to see if there is a candle supply store near you. So you can type in something like candle supply store near me, or um, you can look up a list of where there are candle supply stores in the United States and try to see if there's one that's close to you. So close would be anywhere between you know, 20 minutes to three hours, two and a half hours, depending on how far you actually want to drive to get to the store. But just know that sometimes if you're making a big order, the shipping cost will be a lot more than the gas it takes to get there. Or if it's about seven or eight hours away, the gas will be a lot more than what the shipping cost would be. So at that point, you'd have to make a decision on exactly how worth it you think it is to drive there or um, pay the shipping to get it to your house. So first and foremost, try to see if there is a candle supply store near you and if they have jars that you like and you would want to use and sell to make candles with. So after you've done that, if you don't have a supplier near you, this is where you want to do as much research as possible. So what I recommend, and this was honestly one of my favorite parts of um, getting started, was the research aspect. I really love researching. It was one of my favorite things in school. So um, what I would recommend to do is just go on and try to see as many of the popular candle suppliers as you can. So Candle Science, The Flaming Candle, Aztec Candles, Lone Star candle supply California candle supply um, there's so many I mean honestly there's so many different candle suppliers but you want to go on and see what candle jars really stand out to you. So if you're looking for a certain type of candle jar, um, then you can kind of go through the list of everybody and see which ones you like the best. So I would recommend just do tons of research. Don't try to, um, you know, make it a really quick process. Don't try to just pick whatever it is and stick with it. Um, unless you're just wanting to test out how to make candles and it's your very first time, um, then I would recommend just getting a starter kit but if you're looking to actually find your candle jars that you want to um, make candles with and those are going to be your jars i recommend taking your time and um, just enjoying the process of researching the type of candle jars that you end up choosing really will put into perspective on what you will be able to charge for your candles so for instance i have two different candle jars right here. This one is one that I got on Amazon for um, around $1.75 and it's just one of the straight sided nine ounce jars. They're really, really popular, but this holds about seven ounces net weight of wax. So with this one, this one has a wood lid. It's matte black. Um, it's a little bit more of a higher end than just a standard typical glass jar. And so with this, you can charge a little bit more than something like this. And that's just my personal opinion. A lot of people do if they are doing their branding right. They have really nice labels. They have really nice advertising. Um, they're really getting their brand out there. You can charge probably up to 20 to $25 for something like this, um, where something like this, you could charge the same amount. So these both are a net weight of seven ounces. And that's something that's also really important to know. When you're looking online, these are advertised as nine ounce jars, but you wouldn't sell this as a nine ounce jar because that is nine ounces in volume. So there is a difference between ounces in volume and then ounces in weight. So this is ounces in volume is what the nine ounces is. but you can only fit about seven ounces net weight um, into these jars. So this would now be a seven ounce candle. With these ones, this is a 10 ounce jar, uh, meaning that it can hold 10 ounces of volume of, of liquid in here, but it can only hold 
about seven ounces net weight and that's what I sell these for is seven ounce candles so you need to make sure that you're having enough room for the lid and the wick and it ends up being a net weight of seven ounces and that's very important to know because I have seen many people sell their eight ounce mason jars or 16 ounce mason jars as eight ounce candles and 16 ounce candles and that's not accurate it's just not right because candles are in a solid form when you sell them so because of that you have to sell it by weight and not by liquid if candles were liquid when we sold them then you could sell it by the liquid ounces but because they're solid we have to sell it by weight also something else that's really important is you want to always round down you never want to round up so for instance if for this candle if it was 7.12 ounces or something like that that was fitting in here i would never sell it as a 7.2 ounce candle or 7.5 ounce candle or anything like that i would round down to be seven ounces completely um just on the dot because you don't want to um be deceptive when it comes to the customer getting the candle you always want to round down and have a little bit more in there than round up and not have the actual net weight of the candle wax in here Something else that's really important is making sure that the jars that you want to use for candles are safe for a candle making. So if you want to uh, go completely to a different supplier or website or local craft stores or anything, you want to make sure that the candle jars that you are wanting to use are going to be safe for candles because that could be absolutely disastrous if you are trying to use a glass that is not going to be suitable for the heat of candles. And I was actually very curious when I was a originally getting started with making candles. I had found a glass jar that I really liked at Michael's. Um, it was a Libby jar and now I know that it was safe for candles, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't find anything online saying that yes, it was suitable for candle making. So what I did was I actually found that listing on Michael's and I emailed it to the company and I said, hey, I'm looking to make candles with this. Is it going to be safe for candle making? Can it withstand the heat? And they got back to me within, I think two days and they said yes that will be good for candle making that was really cool so if you guys are ever curious don't assume email the company and you will get an actual response on if it is safe enough for candle making and of course if you're getting it from a candle making website it's kind of known that yes it's safe for candles the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the actual lids that you will be using for your jars so there's different kinds of lids that you'll be able to find um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend plastic lids um, but I would recommend metal wood um, or there are some things called dust covers so um, the first is just metal lids and then they look like this a lot of these can be used and interchangeable with different kinds of jars um, on the websites it will um, give you a recommendation for lids when you are clicking on a kind of jar so for instance if you were to click on this jar on a website it will you know on the down menu a lot of times it will give you a recommendation for the kinds of lids that will fit with that jar so this is just a black metal lid um, these actually came together because I got them off Amazon um, and then this one actually came together as well um, when I purchased it from the supplier but this is just a wood lid and then these go on the inside so you have to take that into consideration when you're filling these up because you want to make sure that you have enough space um, to hold the lid on the inside so it does take up a good portion of the candle in there so that is something to consider as well when you want to get an internally um, threaded essentially candle lid inside um, and then for dust covers um, this is the only example that I could kind of give for it I don't have a dust cover um, as an example for you guys but I'll put up some photos but this is a candle from Target and this is kind of another container that you can see um, that you'd be able to look for if you like these really pretty um, type vessels that you can get there's a bunch of different vessels and candle containers that you can look for I just kind of showed you the basics but when you're online look looking there's so many different kinds but something like this would be able to have a dust cover on it so what a dust cover is is it's a, a thin piece of cardboard that you can put over it um, and it gives a little opening for the wick but the top of it has you know like the little um, the brand name logos everything like that on it um, but it's just an alternative to lids 
And I think that's everything that I want to say about jars and containers and vessels. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I really hope this video helped you guys out and for any beginners that are interested about getting started with candle making. I love making beginner videos and I'm really excited to start this series and talk more about um, the essentials when it comes to candle making. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.